Hi, this is Cindy of Love to Learn Today, and I'm looking at an app called Number Pieces by the Math Learning Center. This is an app that you can access free online. I'm just going to use it to explore a little bit about multiplication. We've been talking in a recent blog entry on Love to Learn Today about multiplication facts or rethinking multiplication facts. So I'm looking at an array here and I could look at this array and use it as a visual model to see that here I've got four over here on this side. So I'll scrub my pen. So I've got four over here on this side and if you can across the top I have seven. So I could use this visual array or this visual model to figure out what four times seven is and see how many are here in the middle. But let's say that I am not comfortable with working with four times seven yet. I'd rather work with some kind of smaller partitions. So I'm going to go ahead and erase those numbers and I'm going to think about it. I'm, I'm just kind of looking at this array and I'm thinking to myself, what am I comfortable with or how could I break this array down a little bit differently? So I'm going to go ahead and grab that pen again and I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm pretty comfortable with five groups of five because I know like clock facts, I know the clock, you know, from just, you know, looking at 5, 10, 15, 20 on the clock. So I can see here that I have a group of 4 by, here's 5, so I have a group of 4 by 5, and then I have another group of 4 by 2. So I'm pretty comfortable with my 5s, I can count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, or I could say 4 times 5 plus, then over here I have 4 times 2. So over here I could look at 4 times 2. So I can see that I have 20 and I have 8 more to give me a total of 28. But let's say that well, that still makes me feel a little uncomfortable. I'm not real sure about that. So I'm going to erase this. I'm going to go ahead and leave those numbers there, though. And we're going to look at it another way. Pretend that I feel really good with working with doubles. I know how to double things. That feels pretty good. So I'm going to look and see where can I see doubles in this um, picture. Well, I've got a group of seven here going across this way and another group of seven, so I double that group of seven. Oops, I need my pen. So over here, I'm going to grab the red pen. There's seven, and I doubled it. So two groups of seven gives me 14. You can see that. And then I can see that, well, here's another group of seven, another two groups of seven. So I can see and understand that two times seven plus another two times seven gives me 28 because it's the same as saying 14 plus 14 equals 28. Now there's all kinds of ways I could I could portion this. Maybe I'd say it's a 4 by 3 plus a 4 by 4. So what you might want to start thinking about is how can you use visual models to think about multiplication in different ways rather than purely memorizing the fact and not really knowing what goes into it, how can you start looking at it from different perspectives and thinking about different strategies that might help you arrive um, at the answer to a multiplication fact? So that's just kind of a little something to get you thinking. Um, I'm going to keep playing with this Number Pieces app, and I'll see you again later. Thanks. Bye.